I'm Oliver Trevina here at the London Hotel in West Hollywood, about to speak with the talented Michael Pena. He stars in the Vatican tapes. I watched it last night. I'm still shaking. I'm Oliver Trevina here with Young Hollywood with this talented man, Michael Pena. How are you? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Good, How's mate. Good. good to see you. Right good on. to see you. The Vatican tapes. Yeah. Crazy, huh? I didn't get much sleep last night. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit shaky. Yeah, I, I mean, really was after watching it. Well, see, that's what happened when I read the script. I'm like, the, the script was so, um, it, it, it more like, I don't know, asked a lot of questions about like good and evil, you know, things that like, you know, when you get older, right, right, right. You just kind of get numb to it, and you're like, nah, whatever. And it reminded me of all the things that I used to think of when I was a kid. You know, I grew up Catholic, right, and um, so I was constantly asking those questions, and uh, and you know, I. You know it's a you know it's a it's a good decision when you're like I don't know if, I don't know if I'd be forgiven right. to, to do a movie like this you know right. God is gonna see you through this something is coming and something bad is gonna happen he's gonna help you sweetie it is very scary I always find them sort of movies in the, in the horror suspense bracket that anything that touches on you know. Satan and God and de the devil is, is yeah. really, really touches, you know. Yeah, and also the Pope, um, you know, said uh, that he thinks that the Antichrist right, right, right. Has, has landed here on Earth. Right. And so... Perfect timing. Dude, that's when I was, yeah, that's when I was reading the script. You know, when you read about things like that or, or whatever, it just adds to right, your right, decision right, right. as to whether or not you should do this film. And, uh, you know, and thank God, but I'm like, I, I did, and, and, you know, I'm happy with right, it. Right, right. Oh, it's a great movie. And, yeah, it's definitely more the uh, the more underskin jumpy they went for that as opposed to, the, you know, the, that stuff. It's, it's, yeah, it's more, it, it really gets in you. Yeah, because the other one is, like, I, it's it's almost, it's a scary movie, right. you know? And it's, it's got horror. Right. Um, but, you know, I, I, you know, I watch a lot of these, and I'm like, I won't say names, but I'm like, I... The ones that just give you like a like a shock, right, right, and you're like, ah, oh, the story was not good. The, stop, the, the plot wasn't there, but and usually, a few yeah, bumps, and right. usually they they don't do very well. Right, and you played Father Lozano. Father Lozano, yeah, played very well. Uh, you, know, you come across like a thank a father, you. I guess well, previous experience. But yeah. here's the thing, uh, like you know, I when I saw movies like this, and I did do a little bit of research for it, but not too much. I um, there's always they, they act very holy, right, you right, know. Right, right. And I, I was like, I don't know any priest that that's right, right. like divinely holy. Right. Um, you know, there there is like some movements or whatever that they that they definitely do. Um, but especially the younger ones, you know, right. they're they're in it and they more of a people's place. Like yeah. you came across like the relationship with the dad in there as well. You yeah, know? exactly. Right. And then you know the, the guys, you know, and there was a Polish uh, a priest in, in my in one of my schools, and he just acted like a normal, regular, right. everyday guy. So you can go up to him and say, like, hey, you know what? I'm like, I don't know. I, the thing that we were learning today, I'm like, I have too many questions. He's like, ah, sit down. Like, what do we? You right, know? Right. And then we would talk, which I think it's more approachable. And it was also cooler for the script, or for the movie, and I thought in my part, for there's a guy who's supposed to be holy, but, you know, is he questioning his fate? Mm -hmm. What What is the stronger energy? Right, right, right. You know? And I thought that that was just much more interesting. Yeah, the whole, I mean, the whole movie, that's, I think that's why it really gets under your skin is because there is that, you, you believe it, yeah. all of it. Yeah. Um, and, and Olivia you, does a great job. She does. She's she kind of the like victim she's and the villain. Yeah. Um, it, uh, yeah, it's one of those roles, I don't know if I could ever look her in the eye and feel <laughs> safe. She, she plays it a bit too well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit too well. Yeah. You're like, what's going on? You want to you, yeah, yeah, you yeah. hug her? Uh, she yeah. does it very, very well. Yeah, she had to learn this this other accent or whatever dialect. Whatever that is. Yeah. I have no idea what, but she had it like, you can read it off, she had it perfect. Right, right. And that's difficult to do. How, how is it in a movie like that when you when you come off of a day's work? Because it is, I mean, it's dark. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's not nice what you're filming. The thing that I normally tend to do, and like, which I did also like in movies like Fury or End of Watch or right. Crash or whatever, oddly enough, those are the ones that I'm really off camera, like keep it light. When you're in it too much, you're acting more the, the tone of the movie, right, right. and then you, you kind of just lose sense with reality. And uh, so I just try to keep it light. And then for actually, you know, I just did Ant-Man. Uh, yeah, it, there's, Small movie. Uh, there's a lot of humor out. in that. And that one, we just really like, we try to focus more on the story. And the thing. It's almost like the opposite in right. a way. Like you try to find a, you know, the, the drama to make sure that the, you know, the, the, right. the, the, the humor really works. 
juggling all these projects always. You're a man who always works. Yeah, I mean, I think it's in my DNA. I think it's the Mexican Yeah, blood. you don't stop. I'm glad that yeah. you had 10 minutes because you probably could have squeezed another book, quit filming somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Down the street, that minutes. filming just popped up. Exactly. Done a little cameo. Yeah. Um, and, a, and a little bird, you told me that you got into uh, football recently, soccer. Messi is one of my favorite players of all time. And it made me feel very out of shape when I'm watching Yeah, him. I mean, but he's a badass, dude. He doesn't go down like right. the other guys right. do. Right. Right. Which, you know, uh, in like American sports, like, your floppers get booed even if it's like your favorite team. Right, right. And but it's it's the game. Right. You know what I mean? But Messi doesn't play it, you know what I mean? He He's a man. He's the man. He's the man. He's the man. He's the man. We're gonna go kick some balls around. I think he's got five minutes before his next movie. Yeah, Michael. A little, little dribble. Absolute pleasure. Alright, brother.